for preparation. Question number 12, Barbara Kurja. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Minister for Biosecurity, does he stand by all his statements in relation to the brown marmorated stink bugs? Mr Speaker. The Honourable Damien O'Connor. Mr Speaker, yes, in the context they were given, I'd also like to take the opportunity to thank the member for keeping this uh, important issue in the public uh, arena. Supplementary. Thank you, Minister. Given the Minister's statement that biosecurity was severely underfunded by the previous government, what new funding that had not been already reserved for biosecurity has he requested from Cabinet? Mr. Speaker, Mr. Speaker, in spite of us being unfortunately facing some um, big challenges in the areas of biosecurity where failure of the system has delivered us um, mycoplasma bovis uh, and a number of other incursions. Mr. Speaker, recently I asked my colleagues for an extra $9.3 million uh, in December for the mycoplasma bovis response, which took you, pressure you. off other areas of MPI and the biosecurity response team. Um, I, Mr Speaker, I can tell you that we'll be shifting all the resources we can into these important areas to protect New Zealand from the brown marmorated stink bug and to try and eradicate uh, mycoplasma bovis. Just, just, I'm, I'm going to let, because it, it is a matter of a lot of interest across the House, I, if the member has a point of order, she's allowed to have it. She will be allowed to have uh, the next question, but as a result of Dr Smith's further interjections when he's asked not to, uh, next Tuesday the National Party will start minus two. Point of order, Mr Speaker. He was told. A point of order, the Honourable Dr Nick Mr Smith. Speaker, one of the most important rights in this Parliament is freedom of speech. And if you, as Speaker, are going to say that myself, as a duly elected and actually soon to be the longest serving member of this House, is now going to face the Speaker in a partisan way of removing my right to interject, one has to ask why one bothers to serve as a Member of Parliament in this Parliament. Well, well I, 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 Mr Peters, I know you are the longest serving member, and that member will never, <laughs> will never at current rates, get past it. And, and if the member has a question like that for his own future, he can contemplate it. No, there's no point of order. Barbara Courage, a supplementary question. To the Minister, in accordance with the Minister's answer on behalf in the House yesterday, can the Minister confirm that the $9.3 in funding for biosecurity response approved in December 2017 was additional to the $9.3 million reserved for biosecurity incursions by the previous government? Uh, Mr Speaker, uh, the $9.3 million was a proposal put forward by me, Mr Speaker. I'm not sure that the last government put $9.3 million. I'd be really interested to see those figures, if I can believe them. Mr Speaker, I, I seek leave to uh, table two briefings uh, received uh, under the Official, Official Information Act uh, from the Minister's office. Um, that uh, at, in August 2017. Can I, sorry, can I, just, can, I, can I just check? Are these, are these uh, received by the member or the ones that have been proactively released uh, by have, the these, Department and by the Treasury? These have actually been received in my office um, under, For, an, as, as a uh, under a request. request. Yes. Yeah. The question is that the uh, briefing of, of the date mentioned by the member uh, be tabled. Is there any objection to that? It appears to be none. Was there another document or just the one? Uh, the same date? Uh, no, there's, there's two. There's one from the 30th of October the one, and one from the 15th of December. OK. I, no. Well, no, I think we've just... I'm going to... I've put the leave for the first one. I've put the leave for the second one. Is any objection to that one being tabled? There appears, appears to be none. Can be tabled. A point of order. Um, I, I'm um, not sure whether I have the ability to seek clarification, but is this one of the many proposals put forward by the previous government that never received order, uh, an allocation? Order. Order. The member will resume his seat. I think I think that member is experienced enough as well to know when he's trifling with the chair, and 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 running a risk going forward. Uh, I. All right. The Honourable Louise Upson. I wonder, Mr Speaker, in the interests of um, uh, balance, that when a member obviously rises and 
uh, raises a point of order, which is not in the good order of the House, uh, whether the government side should be docked to supplementary questions for next week. Thank, thank, you for the, thank you for the member's suggestion, and if the member was doing something which was her responsibility uh, and not mine, uh, then, I might, you know, then I might have contemplated. I will take the judgments in this area and I will decline to have coaching, as I have, I think, three times today from my right. I will also decline to take the coaching from my left in these matters during question time. The member is most welcome, as other members are and have, uh, to seek my advice uh, in these matters, either uh, in my office or in writing, as members did as recently as yesterday. And I will re reply to them as quickly as possible if it is in writing. That concludes uh, oral questions. Um, I call on uh, Government Order.